Percy and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today the Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission takes us over Flaveland in the Netherlands. With almost a third of the country lying below sea level, the Netherlands is famously known as a low country. Flaverland came about after a major flood, when it was decided to tame the Zuiderzee, a large shallow inlet of the North Sea. It was decided to reclaim part of the land to improve flood protection and create additional land for agricultural use. Flaverland is considered one of the largest land reclamation projects in the world. The project entailed the creation of artificial land known as polders. The Nordost polder, or the Northeast polder, is the focus of this image. Over the years, the region has developed to become a home to a modern and innovative agricultural industry. The province predominantly produces apples, cereals, potatoes, and flowers, with each colorful patch of agricultural land in the image representing a different kind of crop grown. This image combines three radar images from the Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission, taken around two months apart to show change in crops and land condition over time. The first image from May is represented in red, the second depicts changes in green, and the third in blue. Along the dikes of the IJsselmeer lies one of the largest wind farms in the Netherlands. The strong, almost star-shaped reflections of around 86 wind turbines can be seen on and near the shore. The wind farm is said to generate approximately 1.4 billion kilowatt hours of clean renewable energy per year, comparable to the power consumption of over 400,000 households. Images acquired with imaging radar are interpreted by studying the intensity of the backscatter radar signal, which is related to the roughness of the ground. Cities and towns are visible in white owing to the strong reflection of the radar signal. Emmelord can be seen in the center of the image, as well as several farms which appear as bright white dots along the roads. The two identical Copernicus Sentinel-1 satellites carry radar instruments which can see through clouds and rain, and in the dark, to image Earth's surface below. And that brings us to the end of this edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the European Space Agency channel. I'm Romina Percy from ESA Web TV Studios, and thank you for watching.